The big headline of the day, the excerpts now coming out from Britney Spears' upcoming book, The Woman in Me. It's being reported by People magazine. And among the bombshell revelations, she writes about becoming pregnant while dating Justin Timberlake. Mm. She says she had an abortion, writing, quote, he said we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives, that we were way too young. A rep for Timberlake did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. Now, another big revelation is Britney is finally revealing why she shaved her head. Back in 2007, she writes, quote, I had been eyeballed so much growing up. I'd been looked up and down, had people telling me what they thought of my body since I was a teenager. Shaving my head and acting out were my ways of pushing back. And it was just a year later after that in 2008 when Britney was placed under her father's conservatorship. So how do we feel about Britney now telling all? She's revealing her side of the story, Amanda. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like even people who don't read books are going to be reading this book. I mean, to finally hear Britney's side of the story after all of these years, after all the speculation, um, I think it's going to be really powerful. I really hope, I really hope Britney is, is ready for everything that's going to be coming her way. You know, I, I, I yeah. worry about that, actually. There's a yeah. lot of, when you put out a book, yeah. Especially a book of this magnitude, the right. the press and the media and the I'm sure there's going to be a lot of support, a lot of backlash. There's going to yeah. be a lot of opinions, and I just hope, I really, really hope that she has somebody by her side that is going to be with her through this mm. because yeah. it is a lot. Yeah, She's well all. Said. You know, I think it's well said. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. You're, you're absolutely it's right. It's a yeah. lot. It's a yeah. lot, and you know, if you follow her on Instagram. It doesn't look like she can take a lot. So yeah. I just hope that she has a good friend, somebody by her side. And somebody to tell her to stay it. out the comment section because yes. you know they're definitely, yeah. as you said, as yeah. you put all that stuff out there, especially the excerpt that came out about the abortion, that one was yeah. like, whoa. I mean, TMZ just reported yeah. and they were saying that, you know, after some heart-wrenching discussion, they agreed she should, uh, that they would get an abortion. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Like, so I wonder what went into that. I know how much control her father had in her life. Like yeah. what went into that decision? She um, was so very young it's going to be interesting. She, to read. Did, she did right. You know, she thought Justin Timberlake then was the love of her life. Yeah. She wanted to be married to him. So there's a lot that, you know, we're not hearing his side of the story sure. just yet. Um, regarding the head shaving though, I think was what's so fascinating. I think, and a lot of women feel this way about your hair. Mm -hmm. Your hair is your sort of sense of identity and control. Mm -hmm. And I think like that is, that is a, a, a move that I think, a, not maybe shaving their head like that, but when something happens, people sometimes like they chop their hair or they cut bangs. I know I've cut bangs. I've done it. Dyed my <laughs> hair, multiple colors in the past. And regarding the head shaving, she said, quote, if I thought getting criticized about my body in the press was bad. It hurt even more from my own father. He repeatedly told me I looked fat mm. and that I was going to have to do something about it. Mm. And that is just so striking because then during the conservatorship, she said she had to grow her hair back. She had to lose weight. Mm. Her, mm. her image you know, under the conservatorship was being closely watched by her father and everybody who controlled her. So 15 years of that, you can imagine what that does to a person. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's tough. I mean, I, I tell you, you know, I empathize that she had to go through something like that, you know, especially in her safe space with her family to begin. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, obviously it's horrible that it happens to be scrutinized like that, mm -hmm. you know, outside of the home. But inside of the home, that's where you want to be feel safe. And for your father to say something like that to you, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. But yeah. you know what? I've, I've heard um, I've, I've heard Janet Jackson talk about things that were said about her when mm -hmm. she was younger. You know, and, and like you said, when it comes from a family member, and definitely a girl and her father. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. I will tell you something. I've said this on this show before, but uh, I thank God for my father, mm -hmm. who always, you know, said, you know, you are daddy's baby, mm -hmm. and you are pretty. And you can do anything you want to do. But just think if I had been on the other side of something like oh, yeah. that well, by, by the person I'm looking up to, right? Right. And, right. and, and remember, at, at the time when she came out in those first couple years, she was constantly pinned against Jessica Simpson, yes. Mandy Moore, mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. They were all None in this, like... women asked for that. that. Yes, right. no, no. The, whose body was the best? Whose right. song was the best? Who was the prettiest? And they were always being 
pitted against each other. Yeah, and remember, this was pre-social media. Like, yeah. imagine now oh, oh what that, that kind of, you know, living already in, in, in a fishbowl and, and the way their lives were, you know, they were tailed everywhere they went. Every move was analyzed, you yeah. know, every video they put out. What is she saying? What is she that, doing? Yeah. But uh, what, what I really want people to take away from this book and get the book, because it seems like Brittany is strong enough to say her side, her feelings, yeah. why she did. So you don't have to speculate anymore. Oh, yeah. You hear it from her. Yeah. And I applaud her for, for doing the work yeah. and right. getting herself to a point where she can put it in writing. What do you think, Jerry? You know, it's just, um, it, it, it's so interesting hearing uh, all, all of this and just, uh, it, uh, it, it's starting to come out. It's, it's so funny, as the father of teenage girls, you realize like how that relationship is like, I don't want to say the most important. Obviously, there are other important relationships. But as the father of daughters, to me, it's like the most important relationship. Yeah. You know, it like it affects everything, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 Your sense of self-worth. Yeah. And she writes in it, but she finally feels in, in the, writing this book. It's just like, no more conspiracy theories. No more right. other people telling my story. This is me, in my own words, yeah. telling you everything mm -hmm. that I was going through. So it is going to be a I fascinating read. read.